Members of the top political advisory body in China have voted to kick out Hong Kong tycoon James Tian for his criticism of Chief Executive Tsai Lu. Mr. Tian has accepted his dismissal from the Chinese People's Political Consultative Conference. He also said in a press conference that he would resign as the leader of the pro-Beijing Liberal Party. Mr. Tian had publicly urged Mr. Lin to quit last week for failing to end the ongoing street protests. Yesterday activists marked a month of protests in response to Beijing's ruling that it will screen candidates for the upcoming 2017 chief executive election. Hundreds of students and activists calling for full democracy in Hong Kong remain at key demonstration sites. In remarks reported by the South China Morning Post, Mr. Tian last Friday said that Hong Kong residents were ignoring court injunctions to disperse and pan-democrat lawmakers were being uncooperative. Mr. Tian said Mr. Lu should consider resigning, adding, how is he going to govern? His remarks appeared to contravene a vote taken by the CPPCC in March to resolutely support Hong Kong and Macau's chief executives. Beijing has expressed full support for Mr. Lu. The Chinese Communist Party mouthpiece People's Daily published a number of editorials at the height of the protests praising his handling of the situation. The BBC's Julianne Liu says Mr. Tian, 67, is a well-known Hong Kong businessman who has strong ties to the Chinese leadership. He chairs real estate company Manhattan Holdings. But he was seen to have broken ranks with the establishment with his remarks, says our correspondent. He is believed to be the first delegate from Hong Kong to be sacked due to his political views. The CPPCC does not wield any formal power in China, but plays a role in the country's affairs by advising the parliament. Membership is said to be